Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tony hanging out here in the music room for another edition of Vinyl Show and Tell. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I always appreciate when you pop in here. I appreciate your support, and I always love talking music with you. So tonight, now usually when we do Vinyl Show and Tells, it is some brand new stuff getting ready to come out. We like to give you a heads up on whether or not it's worth your money, whether or not you should buy it. Uh, but this album is actually kind of old. It's a few months old, but we're just now getting our copy. Uh, for some reason, there has been some delay in the distribution, or at least widespread distribution of this record. There are some copies uh, out there, and they're on like eBay and um, on some other markets for some really inflated prices. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to unwrap the record, take a look at it, see what's inside, and see whether or not, if you can find a copy, if it's worth your money. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as always, my shirts tend to give me away a little bit, and this is one of those instances. We're talking about the classic, classic metal band, Iron Maiden, Up the Irons, right? We're talking about their new live album, or pretty new live album, Nights of the Dead, live in Mexico City from the Legacy of the Beast tour. Uh, Maiden went on this huge tour back in 2019, uh, basically playing all their huge hits. Uh, Maiden tend to do a tour of uh, the new album that they have one out, and they'll play the new stuff with some hits sprinkled in. This was a greatest hits tour, and what a tour it was. We saw this one live, and it's so cool to have a record to chronicle that tour. Um, now, like I said, this album actually came out at the end of November of 2020. Um, we had a CD of it, but for some reason, the vinyl was really hard to get. I know even Maiden's websites had sent something out about the pre-orders, apologizing for the delays in that. Um, and like I said, there are some copies to be found out there, but people are charging some ridiculous money. Uh, it's one I always kind of check in on to see if I can find. Uh, my local record sources, you know, they, they just didn't have it in. They didn't know what happened. I uh, check Amazon, and there's a few out there for some pretty inflated prices. And uh, I actually found this one on Walmart, of all places, walmart.com. And that's where I got it from uh, for a regular price, which is nice. Um, so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the delay a little bit later. Let's get into the record right now and see what uh, what's inside this vinyl and see what's worth um, the wait. All right. So let's get into it. It looks just from the outside. It feels feels heavy. Um, it looks sturdy. So in Maiden, they never really go wrong on the vinyl. But let's we'll go in with an open mind and see what we find. All right. So I'm going to get things started, and as always, I want to hand it over to you guys and ask you to pull back the plastic for me. All right, excellent job, as always. It is a beautiful record, a glossy cover. Maiden's artwork is always superior. Uh, you always have some kind of version of Eddie, the mascot from the band, and no, you know, here we have the Mexican-themed uh, um, cover. Beautiful, love it. They should put it on a T-shirt. They probably have. All right, so let's open it up and see what we have. All right, so, oh man, this is nice. It is a, I guess you'd call this a double gatefold, triple, you know, it's basically three LPs uh, and a really nice pull out uh, gatefold. Now I'm gonna turn this around here and show it to you guys because it is worth seeing for sure. I know the ring light puts off a weird uh, reflection there. So in any case, lots of beautiful pictures of the band playing live. The airplane over here <laughs> is definitely a, a highlight of the set. Um, beautiful already. Like I said, real glossy, nicely done, uh, good quality. Can't wait to uh, put the records on and look at the pictures a little bit more. But let's uh, continue for the sake of the, the unboxing here, the, the vinyl show and tell, and we'll pull out what's in sleeve number one. Man, all right. As always, like I said, this... Awesome job on this. The sleeve, you got the, the glossy color, um, pictures here. Um, it says intro, so knowing Maiden, this is gonna be great to read. Um, and you flip over the back, just some more great content. Now the ring light's messing with that a lot, but anyway, more pictures, uh, maybe some stage set up on that. And uh, let's open this up. This version is the classic black vinyl. Uh, but even the hub there has some, some of the artwork of the stained glass from the, the uh, theme of the tour. It's so beautiful. I should mention Walmart originally were supposed to get a tri-color 
vinyl set of red, green, and white from the Mexican flag. Um, I don't know what happened to that. I know that there's some out there for some crazy prices. I was checking on this record since it was released. I never saw it at Walmart. And this is from Walmart. This is the classic black. I'm just lucky and thankful to have a copy of it. All right. So I will slide this back in and I will open back up and we'll pull out sleeve number two. Again, just more amazing pictures. Uh, and again, maybe some more of the stage setup and, and things like that. Uh, again, classic black vinyl. And the hub is the stained glass again. So, man, I'm really, this is what vinyl should be. You know, when you, you uh, open up a record, this is the experience you, you should have. And uh, just let's go for three and see what we have. We have another, uh, like some liner notes here, probably some thank yous, things like that. And we also have yet another classic black vinyl, and I'm totally cool with that. Like I said, I'm just thankful to have it. I'm going to take a peek in here to see. I don't see any download cards. Um, you know, if you've watched my other uh, show and tells, you know, that's becoming more a, of a... Uh, that's becoming the normal. The download card seems like it's kind of disappearing. I will always hate that. But I cannot fault this album at all. This is about as perfect of a vinyl as you can get uh, for just over $30. Um, three LPs, I believe 17 songs on here. I could be, I could be wrong on that. Um, but Maiden's Biggest Hits, the, the cover, it's, it's thick, it's glossy. Uh, the sleeves are beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. This is one of those albums. People say, why do you listen to vinyl? This is one of those ones. You, you put the record on and you just look at it. You just absorb the artwork, the pictures. And it, you know, it, it is like the live experience. So Maiden, they know how to do things. They never disappoint, especially when it comes to vinyl. So that's why I knew that I wanted to have this one. So guys, if you can find this album, I highly recommend it. Now I want to get into the delays just a little bit. Um, like I said, you know, the album came out in November. Uh, the vinyl was supposed to be out there. Apparently people were finding some here and there sprinkled in. The local record stores didn't get them. Um, I know that Amazon, I did not see any like regular price on Amazon. And even checking Walmart, I never saw any stocked in Walmart. Now I've heard some people did find them there. So they were peppered in for sure. I know there was a delay on the Iron Maiden website. I saw that they were apologizing for the delay. Um, it's kind of what's going on with vinyl right now. You know, it's made a huge res resurgence in the world, but there is, are not a lot of pressing plants. There was a, a really bad fire um, at one of the pressing plants, and it did a lot of damage, and it's just really caused a backlog of vinyl. And then you throw COVID into things, your bands can't tour. Bands are looking for ways to do things. And you have a lot of bands doing some really cool vinyl releases, but it's causing a backlog. Uh, for instance, I, I ordered a Matchbox 20 vinyl box set. And um, on release day or shortly before release day, they said it's going to be back ordered probably until spring until they can get production done. So production of vinyl is becoming a huge issue. I know with the new Pantera Live, or, I'm sorry, the Pantera Reinventing the Steel reissue i know that i'm seeing the same issue it, it's just not out there some people are, are finding it some people aren't but it's not widespread distribution so a couple things what i want to tell you is chances are those records are going to come out all right what i would tell you and what i, I would urge you is don't pay the crazy prices what you're seeing on ebay and on different sites people are asking for crazy money I got the Iron Maiden for regular price. I got it for about thirty-four dollars. Um, they're going for anywhere as high as one hundred and sixty out there for the colored vinyl, maybe even higher. Uh, that's up to you. If you're a huge Iron Maiden fan and you don't want to risk it, go out. I mean, that's up to you. But for the you know the casual fan, um, maybe one hundred and sixty bucks is a lot of money to you, and it is a lot of money. I would say wait. I think this record is going to make its way out into some mass distribution. I think you are going to be able to find it. I think we're at the beginning of that now. So don't panic. Uh, check the websites from time to time. Like I said, I got mine at Walmart, uh, walmart.com. Check that out. Check your local record store first, you know, and check Amazon. And uh, just make sure that you're buying it from a rep reputable source. Because even on Amazon, there's a lot of third-party sellers out there. And um, you've got to be careful. So totally up to you. 
but this is going to become an issue. This is an issue, and it's probably going to be an ongoing issue when it comes to vinyl. Even when you order something, if you order it from a band's website, just know that, that release date is tentative. And most bands are doing a really good job of saying that. Um, and they're blaming it on COVID, but I think there's other factors involved that we talked about with the production plants. But release dates, especially when it comes to vinyl, are tentative. You know, just be vigilant. Keep checking the, your sources. And I think you're going to find these records. But don't uh, don't give in to the people that are out there like completely blowing these records up. If you have any questions about certain releases, drop us a, an email at Tony at the music room dot me. Uh, use the comment section below. If I can help you find out what's going on, I definitely will. I don't want to see anybody getting gouged. And that's kind of what's happening from some people that are finding releases. So anyway, that's kind of, uh, you know, getting us a little bit off point. But anyway, I do want to bring it up because this is a great example. Iron Maiden, Nice of the Dead, live in Mexico City, the vinyl edition. Um, this is the way vinyl should be done. It's Maiden. They do everything. To me, Maiden does everything just about right. So I hope you guys can find your own copy. If you need any help, again, please just drop me a comment. I'll keep an eye out. If I see some stuff, uh, please check us out on Facebook, uh, The Music Room, me. That's how we are on Facebook. Keep checking out here on YouTube. Guys, please, right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I am here for you guys. Like, uh, I'm not just about getting the, the likes and subscribes. I love the likes and subscribes. But if you need some help, you know, I'll help you track one of these down if I can. Uh, just use that comment section. And, uh, I mean, this is what this is all about. It's community. Um, you know, I love talking to you guys about music. I love being able to help you if I can. And um, so, anyway, good luck to you guys trying to find this album. I, like I said, I do think it is going to become uh, more readily available. And uh, hopefully we're not seeing this issue with uh, some other releases coming up. But this is going to be a reality for a while. But just stick with it. And, uh, you know, things will get back to normal. I believe that 100%. We're going to get our live shows back. We're going to get more consistent final dates back, and uh, things will get back, and we'll be rocking and rolling. All right, guys. So that's another edition of Vinyl Show and Tell. Up the irons. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, man, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Have a good one.